Good morning, champ. How are you? You look a little crowded in there. Sorry, buddy. It's only a bit longer. We're getting there soon. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Today is a big day. Today, I'm gonna see the boat for the first time. I'm excited and nervous. I know that there's gonna be surprises that are both good and bad. Things that I did not know when I bought the boat and that's what happens when you buy a boat that you don't see or don't have inspected or don't you know, do any of the regular precautions. Oh, but uh, I have a really good feeling about it. So gonna go with my gut and I'm uh, gonna go check this thing out today. We've been in Vancouver for a couple days. I've been doing work mainly. Um, some like actual construction work and in exchange I scored some cool clamps. So that's nice. And uh, yeah, I've been kind of like sourcing up some tools and some supplies for the ships, groceries. We'll get this party started. Gabriel Island and the local just gave me a free ice cream cone. I think I'm headed to the right place. What do you think? Get the stuff off. All right guys, it's actually been a pretty awesome jam-packed day. Most of it was just getting here. And uh, yeah, it's taught me a few things. First of all, British Columbia on the whole kind of moves a little bit slower. So I have to learn to like be okay with that. Today, there were a few things that held me back and got a little aggravated and yeah, and now I'm on <laughs> Gabriel Island, which is like hella, hella slow and relaxed. So that's gonna take some getting used to, but I am so glad I'm building a boat here. I am just, 
I'm in love. Uh, tune in for the next episode because I'm going to show off how beautiful this area is and kind of explore the area. Now, as for the actual boat, um, I was expecting it to be 50-50. I was expecting to be surprised in 50% good ways and surprised in 50% bad ways. I am sure there's a load that I haven't seen and I'll be digging through more of that tomorrow, um, doing an inventory and everything and uh, that episode's coming, so don't worry. But uh, yeah, I, this boat is like, in, it looks terrible. Like the, it looks as bad as it looks in the photos, sort of. But if you go in and touch everything and you feel everything, it is really solid. Like a lot of this wood is perfect. Like absolutely perfect. It's just ugly. So yeah, this ugly duckling is gonna, it's gonna give me some good things. I'm also like flip-flopping about all kinds of decisions and uh, yeah, it won't be till I have a more accurate inventory that I can start really making some hardcore decisions and uh, about what kind of design features I want to implement in this boat. But uh, so far, Champ loves it because this boat is so big and so stable that uh, I have no idea that I'm on a boat right now. I, I am it is perfectly flat and level and not even the inclining. I, I can shake the hell out of this thing. It doesn't move the boat at all. This boat is really big. I know I'm like sitting in a cubby hole right now, but trust me, it is actually huge. Oh, so big, so beautiful, so much potential. I can't believe it. I just can't believe that this is my boat. I can't believe I'm doing this. It doesn't even seem like something that I would do, but I'm loving it and I'm so happy to be here and I'm so happy to build this boat and I'm so happy to like, do these crazy adventures. How crazy is this? I'm going to sail around the world. <laughs> oh my God. Good night. And uh, tune in for the next episode. I get to show you a little bit more of how beautiful this place is because I won't be so frazzled and I can actually film something. <sighs>